finally back with another video. Um, this has been a highly requested thing. Everybody's been asking me to make another video and I'm just like, you know what? Fuck it. This is what I'm going to talk about. Am I fucking done with stripping? Um, yes, but no. If I could wake up today and be like, I'm never going back to the fucking club, I would do it. I would not go back. That's just how I feel right now. However, the way life is set up, that money do be good. And right now, I'm still fucking with the money. That be good. So, you know, I just wanted to break it down for y'all. Because I know it's 2019. We are in a generation where stripping has became over saturated everybody wants to be a fucking stripper now everybody wants to dance everybody wants to get that fast money everybody wants to be in the club everybody wants to let everybody know that they're stripping like it's crazy to me how much people really just want this lifestyle and granted like i had a good lifestyle while dancing it's had its pros it's had its cons but it's just like people like it, it's oversaturated like majorly and anybody you talk to anybody who's been dancing for over four or five years and they will tell you that it's oversaturated everybody wants to do this everybody wants to be in the game but not everybody can survive in the game however i just i've been feeling this way for months you know i was just burnt out at one point and i just was tired and i couldn't understand like what was really going on i was in such a bad mental space you know going to work and just not happy and not really feeling fulfilled and waking up and it just became repetitive wake up go to work go to sleep late it was just the same thing over and over and over again and i'm just sick of it and i'm over it and i'm ready to just do something more with my life and just change it up a bit so you know i wanted to make this video to for the other girls going through this because i have a good maybe three friends going through the same thing right now like everybody's over everybody's just hit 25 and we're just like all right y'all like what's next what we doing so it's completely normal if you're watching this and you're going through the same thing it's fucking normal like it's okay to feel burnt out oh it's okay to want to do other things like don't feel like you have to be trapped in a lifestyle because of other dancers or or the way social media or society is like once a stripper always a stripper like no you can change your life if you want to change your life and these are the top five reasons why i know i'm ready to get out this life <clears throat> so number one it's not fun for me no more i used to go to work and have fun i used to have fun making money have fun hanging out with the customers drinking with the customers other girls like it was an enjoyable environment you know you're partying you're getting paid to party it was it was exciting it was fun it's not fun anymore you know it's just what am i doing here i don't want to drink my liver hurts i'm ready to go home <laughs> i want to go do something else than what i'm doing here so that's how i know like i just know once i started feeling like it wasn't fun i was ready to go number two the environment is a very toxic environment and when i feel like when you're in an individual who is striving for positivity and healthy environments toxic environments are a big test and for me I feel toxic environments. I feel negative energy. I feel the bad stuff. So me entering toxic environments, it fucks with me. It drains my energy. And it doesn't reciprocate the good energy I feel like I'm striving to put out. So number two is definitely a big one on my reason, my reasoning on wanting to get out the game. So I feel like with number three, there's other ways to make money. There's other hustles, there's other revenues, there's other things to do. So I feel like, shit, if I could hustle in the club, I could hustle anywhere. And that's just how I feel about it. Like, strippers were very like, man, fuck it, we just gonna go to work and make the money. Like, we're very quick money minded. You know, number four, I feel like it serves me no more purpose. I feel like my purpose of dancing, it's no more. I feel like i'm not gaining much from it you know and that leads me to number five like i'm 
losing more than what I'm putting in. I'm losing, you know, my sanity, my my emotional and mental peace, and that's stuff that's very valuable to me because it's priceless. You can't buy that. You can't buy peace. You can't buy happiness. You can't buy good energy. You can't just buy those things. So those things for me, I feel like, all right, those are two, those are five very important things in my life to me and I can't fuck with it no more so yeah mm -mm. so obviously you can't quit cold turkey like you just can't you should never just like quit your job without finding another job so for me I'm giving myself six months of dancing six months to pay off the things that I need to pay off, set myself up to be in a better position so when I decide I'm not going to the club anymore, I can be okay with that and not be eager to go back to the club if I need money here, need money there. So I'm giving myself six months to save money. I've minimized all my expenses. I've minimized all my bills and just have put myself in a mind frame to save 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 and little by little handle my goals i don't really want to express right now what i'm working on building but you know put my money here and there to accomplish the things i need to be accomplished so i can set myself up for success when i'm ready to walk fully 100 percent walk away from the club and preparation is extremely big what is it those who fail to plan, plan to fail. That's what it is. Those who plan to fail, no. Those who fail to plan, plan to fail. And if you don't plan, then what you gonna do? So, that's where I'm at right now. I hope y'all can stay tuned. Subscribe below. I'm not on social media right now, but I am on Snapchat. I'll put my Snapchat below. And, wait, that doesn't make sense. You're not on social media, but you're not on Snapchat. I'm not on Instagram or Twitter right now, but I'm on Snapchat. So, you guys follow me on Snapchat and see my transition. Uh -huh.